Well, it's an A-list sunrise this morning. Uh, not one, but two Oscar winners are with us. Hollywood megastar Matt Damon and his new co-star Alicia Vikander have teamed up for the next instalment of the blockbuster Bourne franchise. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne is back for the first time in nine years. It's Matt Damon's fourth time in his iconic role as the amnesiac assassin. I volunteered because of a lie. They said my father was killed by terrorists. He wasn't killed by terrorists, was he? Matt's been playing Bourne since he was 29. Now he's 45. And for an actor who turns any project into box office gold, from Goodwill Hunting to Ocean's Eleven, to last year's massive hit The Martian, Bourne is at the top of the list. There's a demonstration in front of the Greek Parliament building. I think she'll use it as cover. Hunting him this time is CIA agent Heather Lee, played by Alicia Vikander. The Swedish-born actress won an Oscar earlier this year for The Danish Girl. Thank you so much, the Academy, for this incredible recognition. Both stars are together in Australia to promote Jason Bourne. On Sunday, they presented the world first screening of the film to a Sydney audience. You guys really are the very first audience to see the movie. Um... Jason Bourne opens to the public on the 28th of July. Matt Damon and Alicia Vikander are here with us on Sunrise. Welcome to the studio. Welcome inside. Thank you. Still so going much. on the coffees. We are, yeah. yeah we are. This is strong That's stuff. Is it? It's, yeah, oh, it's, good. It's, it's you did definitely. well. Excellent. Um, Matt, um, you're known as one of Hollywood's nicest guys. I know we keep coming back to this, but you really are. We've seen how generous you are with the fans, how generous you are with the publicity. Not every Hollywood A-lister is like that. Are you comfortable with fame? Uh... I don't know if anybody's comfortable with it. It's a, it's not a kind of a natural state to live in, you know. But I was kind of telling you before, the, it's it moments like this. It's easier for me to kind of compartmentalize them, and and they're 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 um, they're few and far between. I know it feels like kind of crazy right now, but I'm, you know, when the publicity tour is over, I just go back to my life, mm. and mm. it's very very normal. So this mm. is more like a like like a fever dream. How important <laughs> is Ben Affleck? to keeping grounded. Two mates, you started together, you went to school together, you got your big break together. He tweeted you yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, no, that's a big, that, that was a huge kind of grounding factor for both of us, I think. Um, it was like winning the lottery with your friend at the same time, and, and I think that's helped us kind of deal with some of the more surreal aspects. So you keep each other grounded? If you get a big head, does he knock it in and vice versa? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we're pretty merciless with each other Good. when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> friends ha have to be. Yeah, yeah. And, and I guess your wife and your kids, and we were talking the other day, you know, you still do, you drop the kids at ballet and soccer or whatever else right, the kids right. are doing around LA and you just move around like a normal do, do you ever get hassled by the other parents or by you know no, people no, not at all no people are really you know I mean especially LA you know you throw a rock and you'll hit a celebrity so <laughs> so people are pretty nonplussed by the whole thing um, and 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 also when they see you you know you're out there raising your kids the way they are you know they're the people are just you know, they, they're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Alicia, how did you come to get the role on Bourne? Um, well, I remember I got a call and I was just, like, extremely excited because I had seen yeah. all the Bourne movies and I remember that I had read somewhere that Paul said, no, this is the end and I'm probably not going to do another one and with Matt and then uh, I, I found out that we were going to do a new one. So I was just really excited about that and then I got to meet Paul. Uh, Greengrass, the director of our lunch, and um, I was just so happy when he told me about the project and about the role um, and how you know it's now moved ten years for you know um, ahead in time and and the world has changed a lot. So the character that I play in this film probably wouldn't even have existed or that profession wouldn't have existed. Well, you would have been in high school. Also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was probably a very good hacker already then. Because you're Come very on. manipulative in the movie, aren't you? Oh, well, no, not really. Oh, I, at the end. Heather is a fascinating That's good. character. That's oh. you have two Don't different opinions. That's, that's... Oh, no, I'm not. She's I'm a brilliant cat, but it is. It's that modern sort of feminine, mm. the female role that is, you know, you're, you're really in it, aren't you? Heather. Well, Heather's really in it, isn't she? Yeah, she almost has tunnel vision yeah. on her mission. Yes. <laughs> 
Mm. Love it. It's very good. Um, Matt, you were 29 when you when you did the first Bond. Uh, born. Bond. Why am I saying Bond? <laughs> You're not the we only person about who bond. does that. It is, it is, yeah. it is a little bit James bond -esque. Um You were 29 when you did the first one. Um, this is the fifth <laughs> movie now in the franchise. You're 45. You are incredibly buff in this movie. Really, I'm telling you, isn't he? Mm. Um, how, is it much... <laughs> Sickeningly buff. <laughs> is, it, is it much harder? Do you find it's harder now to get in shape for these movies? Oh God, it's it's really it's brutal. It's brutal, and it's no way to live. So I'm, <laughs> I'm saying to all my 45 year old guys out there, don't worry about it. It's not worth it at all. Just keep eating the extra. So what do you do? What's your routine? It's just you basically deprive yourself of anything you really want to eat and, <laughs> or drink and uh, and go to the gym all day long, every day. Right. And, and it's it's just it's very different than being you know in my 20s and you know it's a, it's uh it's it's a it's an up at dawn siege yes. to get it done but yep. it, it gets harder as you get gets, older it gets harder as you get older <laughs> Alyssa, are, are you an action girl normally in real life is that what attracted you to you to the movie because oh in this film she kind of she she has the power behind the scenes she kind of has has other people running for her yeah <laughs> in this film but i uh, yeah i mean i, I cuz you've done sort of chick arty farty Sort of oh, films in a high. Yeah, they were like, and finally, she's doing Carina, a proper film. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. <laughs> you're, talking to the, you're talking to the Tomb Raider right now. Okay? <laughs> this is Laura Croft. I'm telling you. She yeah. Is that right? Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's cool. So you mix it up. You do it. You do an artist yeah. one, and then you do an action one. Yeah. That must so be I'm, I'm actually preparing. Yeah, I'll probably do a bit more physical, um, more physical stunts in that film. Right. Oh, okay. Cool. That's good. Okay. Come on. Um, uh, now, the, the, the newborn, Jason Bourne picks up with you and you're sort of making a living out of fighting with your fists in, in you know, <laughs> back alleys of Athens and stuff. And you refer to the, those scenes as a dance. Explain that to us. No, just the shooting of them. Like, right. because you, you the, the, the people that you're working with, the, the person you're doing a, a, a movie fight with, it, it, it's much more like a dance because you have to both be doing exactly the same thing to make it look like a real fight. Mm. Um, you know, whereas, you know, a, a real fight is the, the two people aren't doing the same thing, they're just going at each other. And, you know, with this stuff, it's, it's all, you know, in order to make the the hits sell, um, I have to throw the punch in just the right place and you have to move your head in just the right way yeah. or it doesn't look and, good. And, yeah. and what if it doesn't work? Then you do another take. <laughs> no, no, did you actually clock the guy? Oh, I've done that. I mean, well, what they always do with me is they always put me with a really good fighter, you know, so anytime, you know, they're great stunt people or actual professional fighters and so those guys are so uh, just, just kind of perfect with their movements right. um, that I rarely get hit but I'm constantly hitting these guys like and apologizing for it and my standing deal with any of these guys is I will buy you a bottle of champagne for every time that I hit you <laughs> and they all think it's a really good deal because you know they've, they've been hit for a lot less so you know and, uh, and do they say hit me again that was yeah, well, you're apologizing it's friends. Friday the, the afternoon movie, please hit me <laughs> the very first one was uh, this guy named Nicky Node in the Born Identity the first uh, we fought in this apartment Department, and I, I owed him a case of champagne at the end and he was an ex-kickboxer and he was like this is the greatest deal I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and when we walked out of the movie yesterday Brett's our sport, sports guy said um, it's the walk with intent everywhere Jason Bourne walks do you do you yeah, obviously you do that deliberately but do you work on that at home in the mirror is that you really walk with your shoulders. I know shoulders. exactly what Do you, you mean. Know what I, I actually mean? remember when I, because uh, we hadn't uh, done any scenes together, we'd just been offset, and, and then I came to Vegas, and it was, I walked down uh, to the casino, and it was actually I was looking for the, the set. You normally see the cameras and things, and it was just um, uh, they had just hidden cameras, so they actually used a lot of actual people in the casino not knowing that we were filming so I walked down and suddenly I see this man with a cap down walking across and I was oh my god it's Jason Bourne <laughs> <laughs> that actually is funny you guys say that because the director of the first movie Doug Lyman said I want the character to walk like a boxer yeah. and mm. I'd never boxed in my life and I said what are you talking about and he goes and he and he and he said I don't know there's just something about the way those guys walk it's really efficient it's it's balanced and it's huh. aggressive yeah. and um and so I started boxing, um, and I've kept it up over the year, but it really did change that walk for that character. So that was where it came from. It was this yeah. idea that the director had, actually. Mm. So. Wow. Well, well, it had nothing to do with me. It was the director. Whatever you're doing, it's working. 
Yeah. I'm still walking 16 <laughs> years later, so, you know. How, how does the Bourne character rate against all your other characters? Is this one of your favorite movies? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, it's just the, just personally, the impact that it had on my life and my career. I mean, it really changed everything for me. Um, you know, before I did the first one of these, I'd done, you know, Good Will Hunting and the talented Mr. Yeah. Ripley and Dogma. I wasn't, nobody thought of me as an action person. And so the fact that Doug took a chance on me and gave me this part, it really changed my, the trajectory of my career. Mm. Yeah. So, well, you were um, born to play it. I tell you what, you are Jason Bourne. We're very glad you're back. Until they revamp it with some young guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just keep doing the walk. You'll be right. Matt. <laughs> you're, you're not getting into that middle-aged sort of psych, are you? Until they. No, 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 but, they, but they do. That's what they do. I mean, look, here comes Tomb Raider. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know, Angie's younger than I am. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's going to happen, but, but you know, I'm at peace with it. <laughs> so you should be. Uh, All right. Now, Matt, two of your biggest fans are with us this morning. They won a competition on our show to ask you a question on air and to meet you. There with Sam Mack in the plaza. Sam, hey, who you got? Yeah, we've got uh, Stephanie, who's from Campbelltown, which is about 30, 40 minutes out of the city, but we still put her up in a hotel for this experience. <laughs> You're having the time of your life, aren't you? And you've got a question for Matt. Go for it, Stephanie. Hi, Matt. My question is, in an action film, have you ever been advised to use a stunt double? You decided against it and then regretted that decision. Oh. Uh, any time... That's a great question. And I will say with a, some measure of pride that any time I've been asked to use a stuntman, I absolutely use the stuntman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the opposite of Tom Cruise. Like, I had dinner with Tom Cruise a few years ago and he explained how he ran outside that building in Dubai, you know, a oh, hundred and whatever stories, yes. and I was like, dude, you win. <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, well done. Don't. Well done, Stephanie. Well done on asking Matt a question that enabled him to drop into the conversation that he had dinner with Tom Cruise. Great question. <laughs> Evelyn is over from Brisbane for the experience and very excited, loves Matt Damon, very excited about the movie. You've got a question as well, go I for do. it. Um, hi Matt, um, my question is, being a Hollywood star and the lifestyle that comes with it, how do you stay so grounded? Um, I have a team of people I pay to do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, I, honestly, uh, um, Children, I think, is a is a really good and and you know those those dynamics don't invade my most important relationships and and um, and kids will humble you. Yeah. <laughs> now, and you're surrounded by girls, aren't you? I am. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll really humble you. Yeah. <laughs> the, the ladies, the ladies are very excited for the opportunity to be involved in what they're calling a Damon sandwich. They'd like to give you a, a jewel hug at some point if we can make that happen. I'm just throwing it out there. They'd love a Damon sandwich. Yeah. They'd be very excited to meet you today. Fantastic. All right, Sam. Good, good question. Yeah, good questions, ladies. Mm. Um, now, the new movie is epic. Um, we've seen it, believe us. It is. It is the biggest born yet. Here is a taste of an epic action scene. This is set in Las Vegas, where Bourne is chasing another assassin into oncoming traffic. Take a look. It's insane. During that scene, I was like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> and all the boys were like, shh. How many days does it take to film something like that? How many car? How many real cars do you destroy? We destroyed 170 cars in that scene. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. They told me that at the end. I was like, it was... But when they told me they wanted to do that, I, I, did, I genuinely didn't think they were going to be able to get it done, to get to, you know, out in front of the Bellagio, we have this massive pileup, and I, I just went, there's no way you're going to be able to shut down the strip. And, and the producers just did an amazing job of getting, the, getting that deal where we could do it. And so we, once we had that, we just went, we have to do something that's bigger than anything we've ever yeah. done. I so, was watching yeah. the scene. I was on the top of the hotel. And it's so rare nowadays, because you think a lot of these things are made with a lot of 
of CGI and green screens. And I was just up there for two nights just enjoying watching these action sequences. It was pretty extraordinary. It took about five weeks to film the whole sequence, like, um, you know, and we would get the strip at around midnight on the weekdays. On the weekends, we couldn't use it, obviously, because it's so packed. But on, on the weekdays, around midnight, we'd move in, and they'd shut down, you know, a few wow. of these blocks, and we'd, and we'd just start racing cars so all over the place. It's actually until, until the sun came up, and then we'd I have was to get in out a, of there. I was yeah. in a cab one of the days, and the cab driver actually turned around. He was like, do you know that they're shooting a Bourne movie here? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, really? And they were like, well, uh, so he had been down at the strip and watched this sequence, and he told me all about it. It was very exciting. It is fabulous. Did you say, yeah, I've seen the script? No, I was like, tell me more. <laughs> you made my heart sing. <laughs> you played in Sound of Music. What part did you play? Oh, I did uh, Louise. Louisa, uh, the uh, second Louisa. oldest. Of course, she's favourite yeah. movie ever. Uh, but it's so weird because I I know all the songs, but in Swedish. Uh, <laughs> love it, love it. I judge uh, people by their sound of music appreciation, so it's good. Well, there you go. So you're top of the pop. Yeah. Um, it, just quickly, Matt, while we've got you here, you are very vocal about. Um, politics, which I love, and when we had a great conversation about this the other night at the premiere, you talked about um, Donald Trump and Brexit, you know, what's happening around the world. Is there any possibility that Trump could get in in November? And, and what, is, what is going on in America at the moment, do you think? Uh, well, the, Nate Silver's website has it at 20% the chances, uh, which is pretty, which is, uh, you know, frighteningly high as yes. far as I'm concerned. I, I just don't feel like he has the temperament, at, uh, not even close to the temperament necessary to, to have that amount of power. He's just too petty and thin-skinned. And, um, and so, no, it's really, these are very, very scary times. And, and there's this kind of understandable retreat into nativism and, and isolationism. And, and, and um, people are upset and feeling that the economy's not working for them. But to protest by electing him, I think, would be, you know, a disaster. But that's, mm. you know, just that's my opinion. But I, but I don't know, you know, he, the, you know, Romney had about 62 million votes, I think, and lost um, in, two, in 2012. And I think Trump's got about 13 million in this primary. So okay. I don't know where the other 50 million votes are going to come from. I mean, that's a lot of people. Mm. Um, yeah. Pushing the pushing the self-destruct button. Yes, yeah. but you it's know. a it's a worldwide. You know, we've just yeah. seen our election no, here. Brexit. Is, you know, it's it's a worry. Isn't it, 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 it is. Mm. It is. It's the most. It's it's. It, it looks the most like the history that I've read about of any time that I've ever been alive for. Yeah. You know, it's it looks like we're we're you know we're 80 years in the past and, and these same feelings are, yeah. are, are you look resounding back at everywhere. History, you know? It is yeah. a bit scary. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending so much time Thank with you. us Thank th you. this morning. Thank you so Welcome. Much. Thank you for getting up early. Thanks for the and car ride over here. Thank you for the coffee. The, the, and the, the low coffees. speed car chase <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. and the latte. Give, you, give you know. your sister a wave. <laughs> so oh, got yes. in Melbourne. Hi, Australian yeah. family again. Jason Bourne opens his cinemas on 28th of July. It is a cracking, a great date night movie. Yes. Girls, you'll Pretty love good. the car chase. <laughs> 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 Thank you again. We've, we've just loved it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.